How do we turn this into this delicious crunchy goodness? Who ordered crispy skin? Because we prep this properly, we now have perfection on a plate. I mean, the juice is just dripping off it. Nice. Let's get into it. Today, we are roasting a 2.2 kilogram deboned leg of pork. And we're going to be creating some super crunchy skin known as crackling. Now, cooking time for this recipe is two hours. Or for those of you who love to use my beer timer, you're looking at a four beer cook. Cheers. To make this recipe, we're gonna need some pork. And luckily for me, Mick the master swine tickler out at Gippsland Premium Meats had plenty in stock. So for this recipe, I decided to pick up a vacuum sealed pork. Purely to show you how to prep it correctly to get crispy skin each and every time. Now glove up first, it just saves us getting our hands in all of that pork juice. Firstly, remove the plastic and then take off all the string that Mick added to make it look all fancy like. Now pat down the skin with paper towel to remove as much moisture as possible. And now we need to create a lot of little holes in that skin. And how will we create these holes? By well, using magic. Now that obviously didn't work, so let's use one of these. It's a jacquard or a meat tenderizer and it has a bunch of little spikes on it. And these holes that this creates are gonna create that super crunchy skin that you all desire. Now don't hold back, go nuts on the skin with this. And when you feel you've done enough, do more, just to be sure. Now flip the roast over to expose the meat and cover the meat with cling wrap. And now using some flexible metal, we wanna shape this around where that cling wrap is as well, making sure not to cover any of the skin underneath. And this flexible metal's job is purely to hold the cling wrap in place. And then just flip this over and place it in a tray. And just give the skin one last pat down with paper towel to dry off as much moisture as possible. And this is now going in the fridge for two days. This will just help dry out that skin. And it is a super important part when dealing with vacuum sealed pork. The jacquard or meat tenderizer is an important tool in this recipe. All of those tiny little blades creating hundreds of holes in the skin. What this allows is the moisture to be released from that skin when subjected to high heat while roasting. And what does this do? It creates that crispy skin that we all desire. Don't forget to like this video. Today, I'm gonna to be using my Dead Grills pellet smoker because I wanna be roasting at temps of 240 degrees Celsius. And it's as easy as adding some pellets and opening the lid, plugging it into power and pressing the control knob to wake it up. To enter the menu system, press and hold the control knob for two seconds. Once you see the word menu pop up, you just turn the control knob to the right until you see fire up and press. The fan will start up and the auger will start rotating, pushing those pellets down into the fire pod. I'll carefully put the grill back in. And once you see smoke coming from the grill, you can close the lid. And after two to three minutes, the grill will beep three times. And it will show fire lit on the display. To set the target temp, just press the control knob once and turn it around to your desired temp. And today we want 240 degrees. And press it to set it. And now we just wait for the grill to get to temp. The pork has been in the fridge for two whole days. And why is this so important? It helps dry the skin out so we can create that crispy skin that we all desire. But why did we wrap the meat part in cling wrap and flexible metal? Well, the flexible metal is just holding the cling wrap in place and the cling wrap itself is stopping the meat from drying out in the fridge. Now to season this pork, let's keep it super simple. And as you can see, that skin is nice and dry now. But what we want to do is flip it over onto a wire rack and we can now remove both the flexible metal 
and the cling wrap. And we put this on a wire rack purely to keep the skin off any hard surfaces. We spent two days drying that skin out in the fridge and we don't want to accidentally spill any liquid on it. I'm just going to glove up and lightly oil the meat with a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to season it with some SPG or salt, pepper, garlic. Sergeant and seasoning on board for action. Enemy acquired, preparing to salt. Enemy advancing, reloading with pepper. They just won't stop, finishing off with garlic. Once the meat is all seasoned, flip it over to expose the skin and just give that skin another little wipe down, removing any of the pepper and garlic. And using olive oil, just put a little bit on some paper towel and just gonna give the skin a very, very light coating of oil. And when I say light, I mean it. Just a light coating, don't go overboard. And then we're gonna just sprinkle that with a little bit of kosher salt. And that's it. The light coating of oil is just gonna help that salt stick to the skin because it's only there for seasoning. All you need to create crispy skin is dry skin and high heat. That's it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. The smokers at tent so we can put a drip tray on the bottom rack and I'll place the pork on the top rack above the pan. And I'll add an internal temp probe to the thickest part of the meat and I'll set that to 70 degrees Celsius. I'll close the lid and set a timer for 45 minutes. And in that first 45 minutes, we're gonna be creating that super crispy, crunchy skin. So no peeking. 45 minutes have passed, so we should have created that crispy pork skin. Do you wanna have a sneak peek? There it is. The internal temp is still sitting at 46 degrees Celsius. And we wanna keep cooking that meat, but without burning the skin. So we are going to lower the cooking temp. So you wanna click on the control knob, and we're gonna change the target temp to... and click on the knob again. And we'll ride the rest of the cookout until the internal temp reaches 70 degrees Celsius. Now for pork, the average roasting time is 50 minutes for every one kilogram of meat. But it's always best to use a thermometer, that way you know 100% that your meat is cooked properly. By lowering the temp, once we've created that crispy skin, we are giving all the connective tissue in the pork time to render out a little. And what does this do? This gives us obviously crunchy skin, but that succulent, juicy meat. Some might even say, moist, smut. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. The internal temp of the pork has finally reached our desired 70 degrees Celsius. So we can now get the roast out of the smoker and put it on a chopping board. And we'll let this rest for 22 minutes uncovered. Why 22 minutes and why uncovered? 22 minutes because it's recommended to allow one minute per 100 grams to rest your meat and uncovered because we don't want to steam away that crispy skin we created, making it all soggy and moist. Smut. While the pork roast is resting, we can turn off the smoker. It's as easy as pressing the control knob and holding it for two seconds to enter the menu, and then turning the knob around to the shutdown and pressing it again. The grill will now cool down and turn off automatically. Once the grill has completely cooled down, I'll wipe down all of the grills and I'll vacuum out that fire pod and it will be ready to use the next time. And don't forget to leave me a comment and thank you for everyone out there congratulating me on winning the Personality of the Year Award for the Australian Barbecue Alliance. Rest time is over so we can finally slice the roast, but not before the traditional knife drag across the crispy skin I mean, look how moist and juicy that is. Nice. Now, if you aren't cooking your pork like this, that should be illegal. 